Hello and welcome everyone. I am so glad that you've joined me here tonight. To me, this is such an important topic. And so I'm excited that you're here and hopefully you will go away with several great tips that you can do about crushing your food addictions and cravings forever. So I am Erlene Tilton and this is a topic that I'm very passionate about because I know that I found success and I know that I can help you as well. So I like to start with my story just briefly and share that it was about 40 years ago, a little bit more, that I started my journey into health. And I started because of my own broken emotional and physical health. And it was a real struggle getting up every day and taking care of two young children and being a good wife and a good mother, I just never felt good. I ached all over. I had no energy. Motions were down. I had a lot of depression. I ached back and neck structure issues. I had bad pollen allergies, arthritis in my knees. And on top of that, I had over a dozen breast lumps. Now, I was encouraged to go to a naturopath who could help me for the neck and back adjustments, which I did. And as I came to him, he could see that I had a lot of challenges. And so he offered to do some tests. So we did those tests. And basically, he put me on a four-part system that I'm going to show you momentarily. And these are the two challenges that I really had to overcome. So the first challenge was it was a lifestyle change. I had to adopt a whole different set of habits and choices. And this was not easy for me. And secondly, the cost. I had to commit to investing in myself at $250 to $300 monthly. Now, to take you back, you know, 40 years ago, that was more than my $241 house payment, which today would be more like $850 to $1,000 a month. So I didn't have that money. My husband and I were, you know, just young married, uh, poor as church mice, and um, I didn't have it. However, we decided that I would, we would have to sacrifice to be able to come up with this money. And I'm really grateful for the support of my husband and he, who realized that this really needed to happen and I needed to feel better. I needed to be me again. So this was the routine that, uh, that really was life-changing to me, a whole foods diet. I really didn't even know what whole foods were at that point, but it was everything in their whole form. And this was all I was able to eat, basically, plus a few oils and seasonings and things like that. But basically, it was that whole foods diet. I did a lot of detoxes and cleanses. There were lemon and water cleanses for three days. I did a, a metal detox. I did a lot of gut detoxes. And I did a whole series of these because that was super important. Third was I supported and built my system with nutritional supplements. These were whole food supplements, no synthetics. And they provided that, that really important boost to pull me up out of that pit that I felt like I was entrapped. And then number four was what I called target support or those areas where I needed extra enzymes. I needed extra things topically. I did a lot of herbals back then, but now I use more essential oils. So those were the four areas that really, really changed my life. Now, along this journey, I began to understand that the cause of almost all dysfunction, disease, and disorder was number one, the lack of nutrition. My body was so starved for nutrition. I just wasn't getting it in the foods that I was eating and in my daily routine. And secondly, I had too much toxicity in my body. I was consuming too many chemicals, not only in the foods, but in the drinks. And I was not able to detox. I wasn't doing any cleansing. 
and I definitely wasn't doing it on a consistent basis. So these were super, super important and important for me to understand. Another powerful thing that I really came to understand along the way is looking at these two sets of foods. Well, basically the ones on the left, they put your body in fat gain mode. They influence disease and disorder. And they also are what create addictions. Those on the right, these put my body in fat burning mode. They influence wellness and they create satisfaction. Do you know that our bodies are actually happy when we feed them good nourishing foods that are full of fiber, that are full of vitamins and minerals and that really support our body's needs. So this was really important for me to understand as well. In five to six months, guess what? I felt like I gained a newfound freedom that I had not known before. There was no emotional or physical chains that held me bound and no addictions held me bound, bound either. I felt this new freedom. So I'm going to share with you tonight, eight powerful steps for overcoming food addictions and cravings. And hopefully some of the things that I'm sharing with you will be really helpful for you. So I want to make sure that you grab a pen and paper, make sure you have something to write some of these note down, notes down, because not only do I want you to take notes, we're going to do several exercises. So I want you to make sure that you have that pen and paper handy and that you're really writing down and doing these exercises and um, really pay attention to some of the things that we're going to be doing. So here's number one, face the fact, but don't focus on the word addiction. Now, why do I say that? <laughs> now, I actually had a situation just yesterday. Actually, my I was out of town. My sister asked my husband and I, hey, come play pickleball with me and my group. So we did that. We went over there at 10 o'clock in the morning and several people showed up to play pickleball. Actually, the courts were pretty full. And um, so I joined right in. I have not played pickleball very much. My husband has. My sister has, plays it almost every day. And so did most of the people there. So I kind of went on the court, you know, thought, oh, we'll just have fun. Well, I soon realized that all of these people are really good. They do a great job. And I knew that I hadn't had much experience. I had gone and played, you know, on occasion with my family and grandchildren, you know, but um, these were people that play every day and they're really good. And so the more I sat there and played, I started feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm doing terrible. I, I People are, these guys are really good. And I kind of felt like there's a little bit of irritation of, oh my gosh, it's her again, you know, and they're trying to take over. They're trying to compensate for my weaknesses and my inability. And pretty soon I'm thinking to myself, I'm doing terrible. They want me out of here. I'm no good at this. I, everything that I was saying basically was focusing on the negative. And guess how I was playing? The more I stayed on that court, the worse I was getting because my focus <laughs> was on how bad I was doing. So if we want to make this change, yes, face the fact, and I did. I knew that I wasn't as good as everybody else because this isn't my thing. I don't do it every day like most of them. But it was the label because a label can be very damaging. Subconsciously, we take these labels and we accept them as reality. And when we do this, this we begin to play out what we believe that uh, label to be. So what we have to do is cut out this word addiction. Yeah, recognize it might be there, but we've got to remove it from any of our thought patterns. And instead, you really need to focus on a positive affirmation. Like, I'm a freedom fighter. I'm an achiever. I'm a 5K winner or whatever you want it to be. So if you can think of something 
that you can put in place that's a really good positive affirmation, either a statement or just a word or two. Do that. Yes, recognize, but also you've got to focus on something positive that you want to become and achieve. And to me, that will help you avoid what my experience was in, in playing pickleball. So number two is to identify the triggers and address the root cause. Many times a trigger is emotional comfort. People go home from work, they're by themselves, they live alone. So they curl up on the sofa in front of the television with their favorite comfort food. We have a lot of people that are emotional eaters when they feel sad, when they feel stressed, when they feel alone, they start to eat. Maybe that's you, maybe it's not. Number two is, is it a habit? Now, I know many people, they have developed the habit of every time they pass a certain convenience store, they will stop. Or every time they get gas and fill up, or I've had another friend that say, I never pass a Sonic. <clears throat> I know where every Sonic is in town and I can't pass one by. I always stop. So is your addiction and craving more about a habit? Number three, maybe it's uncontrolled cravings. And there is a real reason for why this may be the case for you. Uncontrollable cravings are real. And I'm going to address this in a few minutes because to me, you really want to make sure that we get to the bottom of this, if this is what this is. So where do you feel like you fall in, in this, these categories? Do you feel like one of these, two of these, all three of these are something that you're dealing with? It's important to identify the triggers and really think about what the root cause is and how you can really get to the bottom of this. So write it down if you feel like you're specifically in one of these areas. Okay, number three is decide your goal, your focus, and your commitment. What is your goal? Do you have a goal? I am so happy to hear when people really do have a goal. So is there anyone here tonight that wants to just be my helper? And we can kind of walk through a little bit of a uh, role play here. Who would like to do this? This is Marcia. I'll do it. Okay. Oh, great. Marcia, thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Okay, so Marcia, let me ask you, do you have a goal maybe in what you want to achieve when it comes to cravings or addictions? Is there a goal that you have in mind? In that last group, um, I would say I'm mostly the emotional eater. Okay. So um, it's really ridiculous. <laughs> it's been, it, you know, sort of exacerbated, exacerbated during the, the pandemic. I don't know. It's just like, it's the, te the tension level is just higher. Mm -hmm. And um, when I come home from work, I just eat. And then it just like, seems like I'm, I'm trying to satisfy something, but I don't, <laughs> and it's, it's not good for me. I can tell it, <laughs> you know, it's uh, hey. hurts my belly. Right. So, what would you say maybe a goal would be then? Well, I'd like to be out from under that kind of compulsive feeling that, that comes along with it. And, you know, I would like to, um, I would like to just really be doing things that I know are contributing to my health. Great. And, and instead of, you know, <laughs> a bellyache. <laughs> right. So why would that be important to you? Why would that? It's just a just a um, general feeling of of functioning, and um, you know, at times, at times when I've um, been you know active and e eating really well, it's just such a different sense of well being. But for some reason, I'm like out of it right now. <laughs> yes. Wanna so you like uh, you would like to focus on more of a different sense of well being. Yes, I'd like to feel that daily well-being that I know it doesn't come from food, but there's some reason that I keep trying to make it, you know, like food be 
something right. that would be, you know, cozy or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so why is that important for you? I think it, it, when I'm not kind of doing my best, it, my self-esteem is down. Okay. So I would like to raise, raise that too, and just be healthy, mainly health. So why would you like to have a little bit more self-esteem? Why is that important to you? I think when you're freer yourself, you can be more helpful to others. And that's important to me too. You're more available and, you know, you know, it's just a better sense of well-being. It, it spreads out from you. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you stop and think about it, we first started with, you know, I'd like to not feel like I'm doing this at home. I'd like to feel better with my gut. I'd like a better feeling of self-wellness. And ultimately, as we were drilling down, it's really all about feeling like you can be a better help to others. Right. So when sure. we really drill down and we really have a goal in mind, so if you were just to write down, my goal is to not have a tummy ache versus my goal is to actually be a better human being that can help others, which one is more powerful to you? The second one. Yes, absolutely. You know, usually if we really drill down and keep asking, why is that important to us? It's more of an emotional connection. You had more of a physical connection to begin with, but it, as we drill down, it's more of an emotional connection of how you want to feel and serve others, right? Yes. So this is why this is so important to really have a goal and to really drill down. Thank you, Marsha. I really appreciate your help on this. Well, I appreciate yours. Thank you. Yes. So let's talk about our focus now. I think this is another really important thing to understand because as I work with people as a health coach, many times they will say, well, I want to have this as my goal and my focus, but Ah, oh, when I go to a party, everybody else is eating all this stuff that I can't eat. And they just have this fear of missing out. They can hardly wait until they can have those foods again. And they can hardly wait until they're off of what they're on. And if you're always wishing that you're on the other side of the fence, you're always looking on the other side of the fence and feeling like you're missing out guess what's going to happen in one or two months? You're going to go right back over there and you're going to actually recreate all the problems that you really worked hard in two months to solve. Now we can see this with weight loss. It happens all the time. But if you stop and think about if your focus is in dead center, where you really want to make those changes, it's never really going to happen. And so I want you to each one think about where your focus is. If you're going south and you really want to go north, then you need to quit looking at people going south and really turn about face and go north. And that happens as you really stay focused. Be willing to just tell people, I am so converted to this change. I don't care. I don't want to ever eat those foods again. I am going to push all of these addictions out of my way. I am going to succeed this time. I don't care what it takes. I am really, really focused and stay that way. And the third area is how committed are you? So again, as a health coach, I ask this question to people that I work with because there's been twice in my years and years of health coaching that I encountered people that said, well, I'm, you know, I'm committed at about a two. And it's like, why would I even want to work with you? <laughs> and I didn't with either one of those individuals, because I know that if they're not at a nine or 10, they're willing to give it their all. They're willing to to really push through the challenges, 
if they're not really committed to the process, I'm wasting my time and they're wasting their time as well. So you have to decide what your goal is, if you're going to stay focused completely, and if you're going to stay committed to the process, because all of these are really important for being able to achieve. Number four is you must, must, must create substitutes now for any of those negative habits or those weak areas that you have. So what I'd like you to do, you've got your piece of paper there on the left side, and you won't be able to do this all right now as, as I'm talking, but I want you to finish it up. Promise me you do, is write down some of your weak areas. And then on the right side, write something that would be a good substitute or a replacement for that. For instance, if it is stopping, and it might not just be a thing or a food item, it might also be an event, meaning every time we pass a store, I stop and do this. Well, if you wanna change that negative behavior, what are you going to do instead? What is the substitute or the replacement for that negative habit or behavior? You may be finding yourself, well, every time we go to ball games, we stop by here before or afterwards or whatever. So you've got to decide, what am I going to do instead? Instead of that stack of cookies that I'm going to sit down to tonight, what am I going to sit down to or what am I going to do instead? Write down those weaknesses, find a replacement. This is so important. I can tell you as I made the lifestyle changes for myself, I could have never done it without this. I had to have substitutions and replacements for those cravings, those addictions, those tendencies, because we all have them. We all have those habits. And we have to make sure that we know what we're going to do ahead of time. Not wait till it happens because it's too late. So you need to know ahead of time what you're going to do. Number five is to feel and listen to your body. So I know I talk to a lot of people that say, oh, I don't, my body doesn't tell me anything. I don't feel anything. Yes, actually you do. <laughs> After you eat, ask these questions. Do you feel energized? Do you feel tired or lethargic? Are you grumpy? Do you feel discomfort? Is your tummy happy or do you feel good? And you really need to ask yourself these questions after every meal, every snack. Ask yourself, what are you feeling? What is your body trying to tell you? You need to listen and actually keep a journal with you, write it down. Because if you do this, and if you honor your body's desires, it will make change much more simple. Totally much more simple. You just have to feel and listen because your body is speaking to you. Just honor your body's wishes, okay? And I always say that your taste buds speak louder than <laughs> your body's needs. So you have to really listen to what your body is telling you. And uh, don't let those taste buds and those addictions and cravings speak louder. Number six is go on a gut detox and renew. So this is the most common reason for cravings. Candida in your gut. Most people don't realize that they are craving and their food addictions really comes from candida in your gut. And until you remove those, actually, you will never be able to completely overcome cravings and addictions. It's so true. So what is rubbing in your gut is what you are craving. People don't crave broccoli, do they, 10 times a day? No, they don't. Because broccoli is full of vitamins and minerals and fiber, and it goes through you. It doesn't rot in your gut. It's all of those other processed foods, those sugar, high sugar, high carb foods, and high fat, hydrogenated foods that rot in your gut. Those are what you end up craving. So 
in order to overcome this, you've got to purge your gut of any unhealthy microbes, the bacteria, and the candida. Usually when I walk people through a gut detox and renew program, that is the number one thing that they will tell me. I don't have any cravings. I can't believe it. They're so excited when we do a good gut detox. And I have a program that I'm going to show you in just a second. And then we supply your gut with the prebiotics as well as the probiotics, the enzymes that will help actually heal the gut lining and help you digest your food. You supply your gut with the balance, food-based nutrients, the, the real vitamins and minerals that your gut really needs to function and to metabolize your foods. And then you eat a whole foods diet, a balanced proteins, fats, vegetables. It really is, is the, a good formula to be able to help you detox and renew your gut. So it's a simple outline that starts on the left here. We have a set of supplements with a 30 day outline. And I encourage you to do it for 90 days because I have found that 30 days is not long enough for a reset. And we're looking for a reset in your gut. You've got to do it the full 90 days in order to really reset your gut. And then you've got to make sure that you're eating wholesome foods and drinking pure water. So this is actually much more simple than most people think. Once they start on it, they find how simple it really is. And it really is an effective um, gut detox and renew program. Number seven is take time out for the things that matter. And think about it in this way. You can actually trade your trigger times for self-improvement instead of sitting behind that television and eating your favorite comfort foods, read a book or do something that will actually stimulate a different response. Go for a bike ride, grab a friend or go to the gym or work out or if nothing else, get on a mini trampoline or a stationary bike while you're watching that program. Do something different trade it for self-improvement or trade it out for something that will actually benefit you. Okay. Make sure you're getting adequate sleep. This is super, super important. Make sure you're paying attention to what you're eating and what you're drinking. Just do the things that matter for your self-care. Just feel and listen, ponder, pray, do those things that will actually help you be more in tune with your body and your spirit. Just allow that self-care to take place. And then number eight is get professional and reliable support. I can't tell you how important this is. When I did my whole life change experience 40 years ago, I could have never done it by myself. There's no way I could have. Why can't we do these things on our own? Why can't we succeed alone? Well, first, it's an unfamiliar path. We don't really know where we're going. We don't have a plan. We don't have the instructions and we don't have the support or solutions when we have problems. This is what derails people more than anything. They feel like I need to, I know where I'm going. You've told me where I need to go. I have a plan in place, but when there's the challenge, they don't know what to do. And that's what derails them. Plus stepping out into the unknown is not comfortable. Do you know that people that live in abusive situations usually stay there all their lives simply because getting out of that setting is uncomfortable. It's the unknown. And so we tend to be creatures of habit, creatures of comfort. We like being in our comfortable zones. So when we're told to get out of that comfort zone and go on an unfamiliar path and, and do all these things, we don't do it. We can't do it. We don't know how to do it. We've not been there before. So getting a professional and reliable support is super, super important because that is the way that will ensure that you can do it. So the plan that worked for me actually will work for you. These four different areas re will reset your gut, which will naturally crush 
your food addictions and cravings. So it's super, super important that we actually work in these parameters because it works. It's a plan that works. It's worked for me. It's worked for many, many, many other people that I've worked with because it's a tried and tested formula that really works. So like me, to get the results, <laughs> there are two challenges to overcome. First of all, it's a lifestyle change. You've got to adopt a set, different set of eating habits and lifestyle habits. This is something that's going to be part of the process. You're going to have to make some lifestyle changes. And number two, the cost. You've got to invest in yourself at $250 to $300 a month for 90 days minimum. Now, I encourage people to even do five to six months because if you do 90 days, basically, you reset your gut, your metabolism. But to ensure it, go for the five to six months. Six months isn't very long if you stop and think about it. If you could commit to this, I'm telling you, your life will be completely changed. It really will be. And so I really encourage you to really consider this. So number one is to make a decision. Be all in for 90 days. Be all in. Just realize and choose healthy as my lifestyle. Studies show that those who make a change for 90 days are able to make it a permanent lifestyle change. Isn't that a great thought? 90 days. Just think of what you could do in 90 days. And then what could you do in another 90 days if you kept up with that? It will be incredible. Number two, assess the costs of your addictions. Now, I like to run people through this exercise because I think it's so powerful. I was coaching a young fellow in his 30s that had, you know, three small children. And I went through this whole wellness assessment that I'm going to offer you here shortly. And we went through the whole wellness assessment. I got back to him the following day. We went over a plan that would work for him. And it came to around $250 to $300. And he looked at me and he goes, absolutely, there's no way. I cannot do this. And I said, I went back to his wellness assessment. And I said, you, you were telling me that you rarely drink water. I said, what do you do during the day? He goes, I, I don't drink anything but sodas. And I said, so where do you get your sodas? Well, the pop machine, sometimes I stop or whatever. And I said, how much are you spending on sodas every day? And he said, mm, around 10 to $15 every day. And I said, times 30, how much are you spending a month? He was spending over $300 monthly just on sodas. That's just sodas alone. That wasn't fast food. That wasn't anything else. It was just sodas. And I said, you know what? You're spending that money. You're spending $300 a month to sabotage your health. Could you turn that around and spend this $300, same $300, not costing you any more on things that would support your health? Wow. He had never thought of that. You know, and as I've worked with many families, they kind of say the same thing. They kind of give me this other scenario. But when I really dive into it, how much are you spending on eating out every week? And what does that compute to monthly? Many people are spending $400 to $600 just on eating out in a month. And then they're stopping at the convenience stores and Starbucks to get just all these drinks and snacks. This is another 200 plus. So many times people that I'm working with are not just spending $300, but many times it's 600, 800 more for what is sabotaging their health. It's the real culprit. And I'm thinking for money savings alone, it would be amazing for you to cut out all of this. Uh, there's a huge money saving. So consider the money that you're already spending that can be spent differently. This is what I had to do initially. I didn't have more money to spend on me. 
But I had to think of what could we sacrifice? What could we do without? What could we trade for being healthy? And I was able to do that. We were able to do that. And you can too. Usually the money you're spending it anyway, let's just spend it differently. So number three is take an online wellness assessment. Now, here is where you find the root causes, the triggers. Uh, we work together and we create a plan with your goals in mind. So if this is something that interests you, here is the link below. And I'm going to tell you what this link is and I'm going to give it to you a couple more times. So if you don't get it right now, uh, you'll be able to get it in just a minute. So uh, this is basically a bit.ly link, bit.ly forward slash three uppercase J uppercase N zero lowercase J lowercase S and then the numeral nine. That is how to take the wellness assessment online. And I invite you to do that because it's free. It's something that you can do in about 10 minutes and anybody can even do that tonight. And uh, then we can go from there. So number four is to choose to go on the gut detox and renew program and get the items that you need to do that. Now I can help you with choosing a great meal and menu plan for you and making sure you get good whole foods down you as well as the water that you need. This is super, super important. Being able to go on this gut detox and renew program is what's going to reset your gut, remember? And super, super important part. And if you're willing to do this and to commit to being all in for 90 days and get the products recommended, you will receive five incredible bonuses. Now, I want to share this with you because these are free just for deciding to take action. And I really think that you can value these five incredible bonuses. So let's take a look at them. Number one is basically I'm willing to gift my time of eight personal check-in calls. Okay, these are by Zoom. So the first month we do this weekly. And the first call, of course, is to uh, go over your assessment. And then the second and third months, actually, I do it on a biweekly basis. Now, I really, really was hesitant on even considering doing this because this is my time. My time is very valuable. But if you are committed, I will be committed to your success as well. Because this is a $760 value. And I'm actually going to gift this to you if you're really committed and really, really willing to go through with this, okay? So the next bonus is I'm going to give you a free ebook. This is my ebook that I created. It's called Your 14-Day Meal Plan. I would have given anything to be able to have this when I started my uh, lifestyle change all those years ago. I had nothing to go by except my kitchen. Just try to figure it out. And things weren't that great, I can promise you. <laughs> so this even includes a shopping list. It's all done for you. So this is a $97 value. It's incredible to be able to have a meal plan that's all laid out for you. And you don't have to follow it exactly, but at least it gives you ideas of what will really be a good meal and menu plan that will help you really crush those addictions and to really reset your gut. Remember, it's all about resetting your gut. Number three, you get free access to my cooking video library so that you can see things done, see how they are uh, simply created and foods that are tasty and good for you too. And this is a, actually a $497 value. I have a lot of wonderful videos that I think that you'll find a lot of help with and really enjoy watching so that you can create some things on your own. And number four, actually, if you take action tonight and take the complete online wellness assessment, I'm going to gift you a free bottle of grapefruit essential oil. Now, this is an excellent essential oil for curbing addictions, and it's a $24 value. So 
If you are willing to get started and you're going to take this wellness assessment online, if you do that, uh, this is my gift to you. Again, I'm giving you that bit.ly link below. Make sure you take a screenshot. I just want to make sure that you realize that that in that bit.ly link that there's a zero in there and it's not an O. So make sure that you do that. And then number five, actually, I can even gift you another essential oil, the black pepper, if you are fully committed to the 90 day program. And that I will find out as I interview you. Because this is something that I don't take lightly. I like to make sure that you're really, really committed to this 90 day program. The black pepper is one of our best essential oils when it comes to curbing your addictions and cravings. It is phenomenal. I've seen people with 40 year addictions be able to overcome them with this essential oil. So it's an exceptional oil. And for those that really do stay committed, this is how you're going to achieve the results that you seek. So you can get five bonuses for committing to this 90 day cleanse and renew program, but it's something that you really, really need to commit to. Okay. And if you look at all of the bonuses that I'm offering you, this really totals up to over $1,400 of bonuses that I'm willing actually to give to you. Why? Because I want to see you succeed. And I know that you can. I know that you can. And it's all for just committing to getting started tonight. So why else would you want to start tonight? Well, so you, like me, can be free and crush those addictions that hold you bound. And maybe you would want to help someone else you love be able to do that as well. So this is why this might be important enough for you to get started, even tonight. So here's the place to start. Make sure that you have that bit.ly link written down. And if you do need help or have questions, you're always welcome to email me. I'm giving you my email address there but I wanna make sure that you be able to have the tools that you need so that you literally can crush those cravings and addictions forever. I know that if I could do this and I'm just like you, or I started just like you, if I could do it, I know you can do it too. So thank you so much for joining me tonight.